Good morning, everyone. It's Natalie. Welcome to my channel, Find Joy in the Journey. Uh, yesterday, it rained just, I, I wouldn't say continuously, but it was a steady uh, rain shower intermittently. So it's like I would have to run out into the garden and do what I needed to do between rain showers. But one thing I wanted to do was I wanted to harvest my uh, uh, my uh, rosemary. I wanted to harvest my oregano and my parsley. Okay, so what I did is, like I said, in between rain showers, I went out in the garden and I literally just picked up this planter, this little mini raised bed uh, planter with where my oregano and my parsley is, and I put it under the patio. I did the same thing with the rosemary because I wanted it to get an opportunity to dry out. When it was out in the garden, it was, con it was constantly being rained on, so it was wet. So smart thinking. Yesterday, I moved it under the patio so I can work with it today, so I don't have to be out in the garden. Okay, everybody, so today is going to be our first one. Um, I'm going to harvest my rosemary and I'm going to harvest the oregano and parsley also. So, hmm, I'm not sure what I should start with. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, let's go with the oregano. Okay, everybody. I have everything all set up. I have uh, my oregano plant here. I got me a little tray for the paper towels. Now, the way I learned to do it, basically it's like giving it a good uh, <laughs> haircut, a long overdue haircut. Let's see, so I hope this is a good angle. This is my first time, guys. So. Uh, here we go. It's a lot. <laughs> So look, hey, if I'm doing it wrong, if you want to give me some advice, feel free. Like right in the comment section. I love getting advice. I, am, I, I love learning to do things. So I won't be offended. You can advise me. I know this is long overdue, but I mean, there's, there's so many other things that you have to tend to in the world. It's, some things get put off. And put off. And put off. So. I think I'm doing pretty good. So what I'm going to do, there's different ways you can dehydrate it. You can do it by just hanging it up. Uh, you just bundle it together and you can hang it up. Or you can put it in a dehydrator. And then also I've seen people do it in, a, in their oven. Um, I haven't decided which way I'm going to do it. Uh, I do have a new dehydrator that I need to break in. <laughs> to let you see me clip a bit and then um, I'm just gonna cut the camera off but I just wanted you to, to see me just 
just harvest a little bit of it. I like to keep it all separate, especially when I get to the rosemary. The rosemary is very, very pungent. So, uh, and I love the smell of rosemary. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Definitely keep that set. pretty quickly because Joshua wants to come outside <laughs> and he makes so much noise and spare you guys today. It smells good. I love the smell of rosemary. How can you do not like the smell of rosemary? I love it. Also my basil. I was talking to my son about the basil and then they they uh, didn't like the smell of the sweet, uh, super sweet Genovese basil. Well, guess what? It's still going on over there in the middle of the smell. And I'm just going to do, uh, go ahead and, uh, and the thing is, is that with the basil, it's kind of difficult because with that, you have to kind of work with it when it's fresh. You want to use basil when it's fresh. So it's, I don't know if you can store it. I have to uh, do a little more research on it. Yeah, I just wanted to let you see me do a little harvesting. Okay. Like I said, I'm new at all of this. So if you see me doing something wrong, okay. Hop in the comments and give me your advice. Okay, I got two more plants to do. So, and then I have to finish the oregano and finish the parsley. I just did a little harvesting on camera so you can see, and then I will come back later on and show you everything completely harvested and I'll prepare to so here we are I am done with my harvest there's my oregano my parsley and my rosemary so now all I have to do is get everything inside and decide how I will preserve it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to just hang it up to dry or just lie it in, in a lie it on a flat surface and uh, spread it out and let it dry. Uh, I've seen people use the oven. Um, I think you set the, the heat at uh, 175. And there's also the dehydrator. So either way, I will record it and share it with you whenever I decide how I'm going to do it. But I just wanted to share my harvest with you. 
I hope you enjoyed watching. I thank you for tuning in. So you guys, you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye now.